Hey guys, this is Miss Caroline. I'm going to demonstrate to you using cards how Google can find its search results. Because as you know, there are billions and billions of things on the internet. So how does Google find the one thing you're looking for? So the first one is I'm going to take a random card from the pile, show it to you guys. I have no idea what the card is. And now I'm going to count 16 cards from the top of the deck. I have my 16 cards. I'm going to take this card and put it underneath my 16 cards. I'm going to put it back on top of the deck. So I know that our result is above the halfway mark of the deck, which means that we don't even need to look at the bottom half of the deck. Google knows that it's not in that part of the internet. So we can eliminate all of that discarded cards but we still don't know about this. So Google knows that it can't be certain results. So let's say every other card can't be a certain result. This might be a result. This might not be. This might be a result. This might not be. And so on. We're going to do that for the entire deck. Okay, so we know that these cannot be the result. Google knows that not to not even look at those anymore. But what about all these? Google's not going to go through all of these again. So they're going to say, okay, well, let's say once again, every other card can be the result. Okay, we still have a few cards left, so we need to do this a few more times. So we're eliminating more cards. This is your card. So what Google basically did is they used a process of elimination by eliminating all the results they know couldn't be it. And every time they ran the search through, they found more cards or results that couldn't fit with what you were searching for. So it's a little bit more complicated than using cards, obviously. There are computer programmers that set that up. But it's using the same idea. So that's how Google invites us so quickly, because if Google looked through everything on the internet, you'd be there forever. I mean, there's so many billions of results on the internet. Okay. The second trick I'm going to show you uses 21 cards. And it's going to show you, this is more, um, I mean, Google does use this possibly, but it's more when you look at something on your phone or um, on your iTouch, if you have an iPod looking for a song or something. So this is going to use three rows of seven cards. So I just need to think of any card. So let's say I want this card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, doesn't matter which one I take first, as long as the row that the card you're thinking of is in goes in the middle of these rows. So I'm going to take these cards, I'm going to put this in the middle, I'm going to put these cards on top. So I do it again. Okay, so now my card is in this row. So let's say I want to take this one first. Oops. I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to put this one on top. So now my card is in this row. So this time when I lay it out, it's going to be in the middle, which it already is, but it isn't in the middle call. trick to know also it's great to understand how the computer searches for something if you're ever wondering that it's also a good trick to show your friends um <clears throat> so don't forget I do have a Facebook you can friend me at if you want to learn scratch which is not this it's actually a programming language um, I might be posting some more tutorials here so don't forget to subscribe 
Um, you can find me on Facebook there. I also have a link to click like on my Facebook page if you don't want to friend me on it. Um, I also have a Gmail if any of you uh, want to talk on there. That's awesome too. So yeah, I hope you learned something today and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.